Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the away end here at Fratton Park. <laughs> this is obviously our second away game after the Wigan win and obviously the Cray Valley draw last week which obviously felt like a loss. I will be at the replay. I do have my ticket for that which I'm very much looking forward to on Wednesday. It's a game that we didn't need to play but obviously we have to now. Here today obviously I am expecting a win. You know it's been a long long time since we've lost here. Every time I've been here we have won. I'm going with a 3-1 Cholton. I'm going optimistic. I think Corey Blackett Taylor will be fantastic as he always is against Portsmouth here at Fratton Park. Right we're joined outside once again with Ben obviously. The Cray Valley loss. I think that's the first thing we've lost. It the, felt like a loss. It did feel like a loss. So, what, what were your thoughts on that draw last week? Shambolic. Yeah. Awful. <laughs> and one thing, no. that bloke that sits near us at home games, what a nightmare. I don't want to ever see him again. Fucking wanted Appleton out. Have a day off, mate. He, he did want Appleton out after that um, performance, but as I said, I'll be at the replay. You won't be, sadly. Oh, you might. You I'm might, you might, might be. Might, well, you might. said you said you might not be. But we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see on that. Hopefully, Ben will be there on Wednesday as well. But let's talk about this game, obviously. Lovely. We always win at Fratton Park. Yep. What are your thoughts out of this one? Well, <laughs> past two, well, I say past two seasons that I've been here, they um, haven't been on the form they are today. Mm -hmm. 13 unbeaten. Um, at home. At home. Yeah, I was getting to that point. But... Um, looking forward to at the start of the season I'm not really looking forward to it now um, what's it 18 years since they last beat us here um, on I'm that hoping. your score prediction I'm going to go with you 3-1 it's been 3-1 past one, yeah. two years who's going to score for us uh, Corey Black taylor 100% always does yeah uh, Alfie May I reckon yeah. keep on that and so I'm going to go we're going to score a corner today score from a corner Lloyd Jones Hec no, oh, no, a Hector, Hector, a Hector cheeky goal. Michael Hector goal a cheeky Michael Hector goal from a corner but yeah I'm hoping for a good game I'll take a point at the end of the day here it's still not a loss it's a point and yeah good game we're going with a 3-1 Charlton alright we're joining the Portsmouth fan here James what are oh, your gosh. thoughts on the game today oh honestly you know it's, it's a tough one to say because we've had one of the best forms we've had in years, you know, still unbeaten, got a great record, but obviously Charlton Athletic at home. It's not our strong point, you know, you've always beaten us seven mm -hmm. games running, but I think if there's one game to win, if there's one time we can beat you here at home today, it's this one. So, you know, got to keep the positive faith and, you know, hopefully we can get to it. And what's your score prediction for this one? Yeah, it's going to be hard, but I reckon little one year win to Pompey, you know. Yeah. Up the blues. Who's going to score for you? Uh, it's got to be Colby Bishop, the back man. Be. It's got to be. And massive shout out to James, by the way. Does all the thirds media. What, what do you have a message for the thirds? We're massive. We Up are the massive. thirds. Up the thirds. <laughs> Fanny, what's your name? Teddy. Teddy, and what is your thoughts on today's game and your score prediction? Um, good. Um, I reckon a 3 1 win to Pompey. 3 1 win to Pompey. Who's going to score for you? Um, Colby Bishop, hat trick. Colby Bishop, hat trick. Good luck. <laughs> Right, we're joined with Tom from 4-0, written all over it. That's the one. <laughs> there we go. How are you feeling ahead of today's game? I've just seen the team and I'm yeah. not particularly happy, I'm afraid. There's, there's a few outs that we thought would be in, um, but won't delve into that too much. Still got a bit of confidence, got to break this record at some yeah. point, and what better time to do it than when we're top of the league at Fratton Park. You boys haven't had a fantastic time away from home yet this season. <laughs> well, I was going to say to you, I forgot to say it on your show, but if you hadn't won an away game yet this season, I'd be a lot more nervous. Yeah. But yeah, after yeah, yeah, the yeah. Wigan game, I'm a little bit more confident. Um, I'm going to stick with what I said to you the other night, 3-1 Pompey today. 3-1 Pompey, and is Regan Paul starting? No, he's not. He's not in the squad he's at all. not in the squad, neither is Marlon Pack. <laughs> So, oh. few from the Charlton <laughs> point of view, gutted from our point of view. Make sure to check out Tom's vlog after you've watched this one, as I always of say. Course, of and course. link to the League One podcast as well, obviously. Oh, a great, nice. great listen every week. Thank you. As, Thanks as very you much. say, yeah, great listen. Make sure to check that out as well. Oh. 
one. Oh! Oh! Off the line. Great difference in golf comes. Oh! We always can see from those. Fucking always. Great save. Brilliant save. Right, it's half time. What are your thoughts on that first half? You know, I think they've been brilliant for the most part. And then again, I think we grew into it as soon as we went 1-0 down. They started attacking a lot more and have looked good since they came flying out. But I wouldn't say they've been amazing. They haven't been, no, they haven't been amazing. Like, they've had spells, but you can definitely tell there's a difference in those spells why they are top of the league. Um, they've played some incredible football. I don't know if they've played incredible football or we are just really poor. Um, I, no, I think they have played some nice stuff. But they're, they're top of the league for a reason. Yeah. The goal we conceded though, it's the same stuff that happens pretty much every week. You know, there's a man completely unmarked on the edge of the area, no one comes out in time, and it's an easy finish, you know, you just gotta smash it and hope it gets through some bodies. But at the end of the day, they haven't had too many chances, I wouldn't say. I think they had that one straight after they scored. Yeah. Uh, they had one early on. We've had a few chances, you know, the Alfred May one just dragged them wide. I'm not too cleared off the line as well, we have one off the line. I'm not too like disappointed yet. I think there's still a chance in this game, you know. Uh, we have to get the next goal. But we have to get the next goal, you know. And also, I don't know why Alfie May's marking Sean Raggett, who's like double his height, and Lee Burns marking someone half his height. Now that doesn't make sense. You've got to switch those. It's a no brainer. Tall person on tall person, small one on small one. Which is all it is, is Sean Raggett has to put his hands on yeah. good pay and an easy header. What's so, your second half prediction? This is the first time I've seen us go 1 0 down. So I'm not confident, but I am confident. You mean at Portsmouth? Yeah, yeah, at, yeah, yeah. at Portsmouth. Um, it's been for what, 3 1 past two years. Yeah. Yeah. Two one, yeah. Two one. Three one. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> I can't fucking remember. But, I don't know. It, they have scored a lot of goals towards that threat and end. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to rush in. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go 2-0 Pompey. 2-0 Pompey. Let's go! One of two. Let's go! He looks fine. 